<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Dead Space Part 20. Checking what part you're on is glorious. Now, this is going to be something. Not because it's hard, but because I don't like the, the leapers. This game actually uses leapers a lot more than the other games do. Um, I'm pretty sure again this is another. Uh, I'm pretty sure again this is like another part where the first game. Oh my god, that was that was two leapers. I'm scared now. Used to hold right there, and I don't know. Just take that. I, I'm getting rid of the line gun. It's so not really useful. It takes about an hour to climb too, but that that worked well. It's better as a mine than as what like its main purpose is. So this is a puzzle. I say puzzle in a very loose sense. I'm just looking around for item boxes. There's one over there. This is this is like one of like maybe four areas where having increased kinesis would be useful. Well, you know, whatever. So, we have to connect these in line, as you can see there. One whole circle has to be green. You can do it with any circle, but let's be honest, we're going to do it with the first circle. Because the first circle is right there, and this is apparently how engineering in the future works. Uh, is there more than what I need? Not really. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remove some things. Just I'm just gonna get rid of them. I need that. Can I have that? Also, there's a mass under the ceiling, and I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Actually, I know what that is. Never mind. Never mind. I, I, I'm, I'm 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 talking. I'm 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 spreading lies. Do you like this puzzle? Because it's how every puzzle in Dead Space works. And a block. Messages can now be received. That's it. It's working. Get back to communications and use the control panel to send our coordinates to the Valor. Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Open the door, please. Oh, thank you. Exiting zero gravity. I think they kind of realize the un the oh, not unbalanced imbalances in their design because nearly every weapon got overhauled for two, and a lot of the mechanics were overhauled too. Like the stasis went through a big, big overhaul, and that's how communications work. It, sh it shoots lightning, obviously. This is USM Valor, wide casting on all frequencies to USGE Shimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. What? Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. No. No, this isn't going to happen. USM Valor. Come in, Valor. Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. Error. Blast door blockage detected. Of course. Why not? Technician. Shit! Isaac, there's something big on the hull of the ship, directly above the comms array. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. We have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out into space. Okay, okay. So as usual, in true horror fashion, everything is broke and we need to go fix it. Sure, why not? Let's do, let's do it. It's got pretty dark. There's, there's movement down there. Aw, oh, poor baby. It just died. 
As I said, there's one... Oh, I kind of blew out the mic there. There's one save point in the entire... In all of Chapter 8. Not save... Oh, no, it used elevators. And by save point, I don't mean save point, I mean store. There's one store in all of this level. But, you see, the pulse frame is not bad. It's pretty... It's pretty good. Although, uh, we could use a bench. That'll work. I actually quite like the idea of using a bench. I could upgrade that. That would be pretty good. And then I can work on all this. Yeah, I think if I was to play Dead Space 2, I have a pretty good lineup in my head of what weapons to use. Because there's like four weapons I tend to gravitate to. Here's the door, by the way. I don't think there's really any... Thing that can kill us between us and the ADS cannon. By the way, in case it wasn't obvious, it's going to be another turret section because obviously video games are not complete without turret sections. Uh. Although. It is also overhauled again because. Ooh, spooky! They opened an item! Ooh. It gets overhauled again. Well, not overhauled. Back when we used the ADS Cannon Chapter 4, it could overheat from continuous fire, even if you were holding down one barrel. It just overheated a lot slower. In this ADS... ADS? Yeah. Asteroid Defense System bit. It, it doesn't. It just... If you fire one barrel constantly... I need to stop blowing out the mic. If you fire one barrel constantly, it won't overheat. By the way, this is what was blocking human. I guess that was the thing that was sitting on it. I'm, I'm awakening it and also showing off that holding one barrel will not allow overheat. So this is a boss. This is the second boss in the game. You have to stop it from throwing projectiles. Or if it does, shoot it down. This boss is a lot harder at the beginning because uh, all of the tentacles are moving independently, just throwing whatever whenever. You can hold both if you want to just a little bit more firepower. I don't really. But uh, I don't hold this one actually. Oh, let through 10 damage. Um, the explosive canister things deal more damage. As soon as you begin taking out tentacles, it gets easier because th that's just one less tentacle throwing stuff at you. Oh, th there we go. There, there, oh, no. So it's six damage for small stuff and four damage for explosives. We are knocking out the tentacles, though. I didn't even see him throw that. There's no achievement for this one, by the way. It's just... Do it. It's not a particularly hard boss. Uh, it's also one of the only bosses that's pretty unaffected by difficulty. Like most turret sections in games, well, uh, yeah. I say that, but like, turret sections were some of the worst parts on Call of Duty's hardest difficulty, especially Black Ops 1. Oh my goodness, will you shoot the tentacle? This thing is so hard to aim. We did it, though. It's dead. Bye. I'm not quite sure how... One, it's called the slug, and that doesn't look like a slug. Two, I don't get how it, it, it would work. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. USM Valus. Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura, come in! Do not open the escape pod! Damn it! Spawn! Now, um... I get they're supposed to be watching the camera, but... You might want to move. Like, that is pretty obvious to spot. Like, Isaac, move. Oh my god. Move, Isaac. It's headed right for us. Move. Isaac, Anytime Isaac, you're ready, Isaac. No? Okay. 
I mean, it was his own fault. He, he just sat there looking at it. Even when they spotted it, he stirred at it. Hey, there's a video again. Hope that's not gonna come important. <gasps> Isaac. Isaac, are you there? Thank God you're alright. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. A crash must have interrupted the signal block. Hammond, where have you been? Surviving. Barely. I found some med supplies and packed myself up. Listen. I'm calling aboard on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. We have to get the hell out of here. I think I've located a shuttle on the crew deck. Flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. It's convenient then that the, the Valor crashed into us. From the side of Ishimura. I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Hammond out. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. In his condition, he may not last long. I mean... Oh god, divider parts. I think you, if you're sort of quick, you can just avoid the divider parts, like so. Because they don't drop items. They're pretty much just there to take your ammo. Let's go to level 2 again. Uh, I get they just want you to go on to the Valor, but it's very obvious, like, hey, we need a thing, and we only learnt that we need this thing when a ship crashed in and that allows us to get it. I'm pretty sure this is a bad bit, isn't it? Yup, that's a divider. Oh my god. If you want, you can actually take out the divider's limbs before the divider itself. When you take out its foot, it'll fall over and split apart. I'm actually just gonna fire a whole bunch of mines at it. Ooh, that seemed to work half decently, actually. Yup. I seem to recall there being more than one divider. Nope, there's a head. Can you hit the head, please? Oh my god, stop hitting the thing behind it. So that's the chapter, by the way. Um, it's pretty short. I see. I also seem to remember there's something being something down here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so, let's get rid of the ruby, naturally, let's get rid of the contact, I mean, I'm getting rid of the line gun, I'm making that call, it's not really doing anything for us. We don't need the ammo right now, or like the money right now, but we will have to start saving up sooner than later, more now, I'm gonna sell this just to get another node, because I'm greedy. I like nodes. I want more of them. I have eight of them. This is going to be a pretty good upgrade. I don't actually think there's really a bench in the next chapter, so I'm going to run back. This is just me trying to remember, because I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, let's get our health back, because obviously we took a, bit of, took a bit of damage. Let's... Uh, more damage. Uh, let's not touch that. Maybe, maybe more stasis. Sure. And then we have one left for more bullets. Excellent. We're now getting quite strong, as you can see. All of our stuff is filled up. Our guns are very strong. And without the line gun, we'll get more ammo drops. Even though I don't feel like the line gun ammo was dropping that often. There, yeah, I heard that. I, I knew there was something down here. No, okay. It was, it was just here. There we go. 
now we can get through enemies pretty ammo efficiently. As in, we're actually gaining ammo. And that's the end of chapter, um, uh, 8. Now, I remember chapter 9 and 10 being longer. Like... Like, a lot longer. But hey, we'll, we'll save progress. I'll, I'll do it. Which one did I save in? Because we're going to end it here. Maybe. Yeah, I'll end it here. I'll end it here and then leave off. I'll start off. I'll probably save here, go forward, do the intro dialogue to like the level because it always happens. Although we're going to Cargo Hold. I don't think we've been there. I don't think. Maybe that's where we started. No, it isn't. Now, what are they going to say? If it doesn't say anything, I'm going to be annoyed. There we go. Good, you made it inside. Listen, I just found the munitions log for the Valor. I don't think their presence here is a coincidence. They're not on reconnaissance, and they're not on patrol. This ship is prepped for war. They're on a secret destroy mission. Do you hear me? Isaac, I've lost him again. No signal from Hammond's rig. Find the Singularity core and get the hell out of there. So I guess next time we're going to the Valor, because why not? Sure. Go to the military ship, because obviously the military couldn't deal with one necromorph. I'll buy.